Hey guys, this is day three of our whirlwind weekend trip to Walt Disney World for the Festival of the Arts. We are checking out this morning, which is sad, but it's Sunday and we have to go back. We came down Friday, it's been all day Saturday, and now we're going back Sunday. But the fun is not ending yet. We are gonna go to Boma for breakfast this morning. We are coming to pop at the front, driving over from our room to drop our luggage off to check it with the airline. And um, that way we don't have to carry it with us they're carry-ons but we don't want to have to carry them now that we you know don't need them immediately so we're going to check them pops airline check-in where you can check your luggage in is around behind the building so if you come out of the lobby which is right over there you just take a right and if you go around the front of the building which is around that way you would again go right and then around to the back it's sad we're whizzing right by disney's animal kingdom but we're on our way to Bama now we got our luggage all checked in there was a little bit of complication with it for some reason i don't know why um she never told us what the problem was it just took a while so we're actually late we're only about 15 minutes late to our breakfast this morning so hopefully they will still have a seat for us all right we have made it to jumbo house for Bama. we love jumbo house so beautiful all right, we made it. A little late, hopefully it won't be a problem. Love this resort. And here's that gorgeous lobby. So we're gonna go down the elevators over here to the right to get to Boma. Here we are at Boma. Really cool details everywhere. And there is a lounge right up those stairs. It's not open now, but the Victoria Falls Lounge. It's really nice. And then here's what the restaurant looks like pretty empty early so it looks like a good time to come. They have oat grilled tomatoes, oat grilled asparagus, pap which is kind of like a cornmeal, uh, chakalaka, and baboti. Over here they've got African spiced corned beef hash, carved ham, some sauces as well as African spiced corned beef. We've got oats and quinoa. They have bacon, sausage, tater tots, and fried plantains. They have scrambled eggs, eggs with spinach and goat cheese, biscuits and gravy. They've got some character waffles, pancakes, and M&M pancakes. They have a make your own omelet station with all kinds of toppings. They have some salad type items, fruit salads, fresh fruit. They have a yogurt bar here with toppings. They have a salmon with the appropriate accompaniments and also they have um, deli meats and cheese. They've got donuts and then a wide range of pastries. And over here they've got um, bagels and they've got croissants and then also there's regular bread and a toaster on the end. We just sat down at Boma and Brian got his first plate. That looks awesome. Looks really good, doesn't it? It really does. Tomatoes, asparagus, plantain. Mm. Good cheese and spinach eggs and some smoked salmon cheese over here. Nice. I got the jungle juice this time. I usually don't get it, but it sounded really good this morning. I'm really tired from yesterday. It just sounds refreshing. And then they have this allergy guy that they give you now. I had the chef walk me around because to me, this is a bit overwhelming. It's nice that they have it though, so you can refer back to it, but they list all the allergens and then which items you have to look across to see whether it has the thing that you're allergic to. And I just find that completely overwhelming. But, and then cross-referencing that with what's on the buffet. So it's nice they offer it, but I still like talking to the chef, so don't be afraid to ask for a chef if you have an allergy. All right, Brian got plate two. This looks like some Pretty cheese. Pretty much the same thing. Fruit, eggs, tots. Some pineapple. Some more. Oh, we got some pineapple. We got some more roasted veggies. Then I got a made-to-order omelet. And so you just pick whatever you want. Mine's got bacon, red pepper. I forgot exactly what I put in it, but it looks, looks good. And I got the roasted veggies also, some bacon sausage, some of the pap, which is kind of like grits, and the a little bit of the egg with the goat cheese because we love that. But I didn't want too much egg, you know, since I got that. 
And then they brought me some gluten-free Mickey waffles. Breakfast at Burma was amazing awesome, as, as always. That's, I think that and the California Grill brunch are our two favorite mm -hmm. meals on property. I even like the breakfast here better than the dinner. It's just me. And it's not actually called a brunch, it's called breakfast, but it, it feels like a brunch. So we're at the pool area and we're gonna walk around and see if we see the flamingos yeah. because they're near here at the pool. Like there's an actual map that kind of shows you everything. So you have like a savanna overlook and a playground, a spa. There's of course the bar. So let's see what we see. The spa is in a really nice secluded location. Um, other than these rooms right here, really kind of you're hidden off the beaten path, which is nice. They have the Akuna Matata playground for kids and it's already in use this morning. <laughs> There's the flamingos and of course a bunch of Florida birds as well, but the flamingos are back there in the corner. Maybe we can see them better from the other side. Here's a better view of the flamingos and sorry for the leaf blower in the background. Also, they have a second spa over here on the other side, which we had never noticed before. And Brian was saying, look at the size of those balconies up there. I know they're not gonna show up super great, but there's those cattle with the giant horns, a giraffe, and some kind of antelope over there. Here's the bar, which is not quite open yet. And I seem to be following the leaf blower <laughs> no matter where he goes. And um, here's the pool, it's pretty neat. Here's the water slide right over there. And what's also nice is part of this pool is zero entry, which is really awesome. Here's the menu for the drinks and, yes, it's all drinks. I don't see any food. Yeah, seems like most of these bar menus actually have some food too. Hmm. Maybe it's behind this screen and we can't see it, the food. So we're gonna now walk through the lobby, which is my favorite lobby on all of Disney property. And we were going to go out here ahead to the savanna to see if we can see any animals there. Also, they have this fire pit and we can actually still smell it from last night. And they do storytelling around the fire at night, which is really cool. And that's just free and open to anybody. Brian's having to hold the camera for me because of the tall fences, but some pretty amazing large pelicans here. Pretty neat. And yet another gorgeous view of this resort. Like, this is the attention to detail when they built this. Not that the other resorts aren't gorgeous, but every view is just stunning. A few minutes ago, these birds were actually running pretty fast. Uh, it was kind of a funny sight to see. There's some roan antelope in the distance, and also there are some zebras. Pretty far out there. The animal guide here just told us it's breakfast time, so that's what they're all doing out there. Here's a slightly better view of the zebra and the roan antelope. He said the feeding time is the reason they're all facing the same direction, which is really funny. I have to say, spending the morning here, since we didn't have time to go to the parks, we actually have to head to the airport about the time the parks open, so we didn't have a chance to do that, but it was awesome having a morning here, wouldn't you say? It was nice, so yeah. we, we got to eat our favorite breakfast and see animals and everything. Bye, Animal Kingdom Lodge. It was a fun, fun morning, it really was. That was a great end to the trip. Because I was all depressed that we would just basically sit around in our pop room. Nothing's wrong with that, but I mean, it's not a very exciting way to spend your last morning. So that was really a nice treat. That was Brian's idea. It's a very good idea, Brian. I like my bomas. <laughs> well, and it was brought to you by this cheap rental car. If we'd had yeah. to take Magical Express, we wouldn't have been able to do this. And we wouldn't have had a car to drive over Turn here left, either. So. If you do drive in a rental car to Disney, you're probably going to go through some tolls. So one tip is to bring some quarters with you because you'll need them. 
to return a rental car, it depends on which company you're with, we're with Alamo, but you just basically follow the signs and you can return them at both terminals, which is nice. So now we're in a tunnel to the terminal. So we just drop the rental car off and then you just walk right into the airport, which is nice. All gates. It's a really long escalator. I have no idea how long this has been here. Brian actually spotted it. Does it go well? I actually love their purses in particular. Thanks for following along. We hope you've enjoyed this whirlwind weekend. It was it's definitely an experience. Yeah, we yeah. had a good time. And we enjoyed the or I enjoyed the Festival of the Arts. Not the food so much, but the actual festival was really cool. Yeah. And just getting to be here, even if it's only for a weekend, is always a magical thing. Yeah. So as always, we appreciate subscribes, likes, shares, and comments. Until our next adventure!